So the situation that Herring Goods find themselves in, it's completely man-mediated. We've just opened the few doors for them and they've just walked right through and exploited it. We've given them easy food and we give them places to nest. That's exactly what they want and this is exactly what has led to their success. So what's easier, follow the fishing trawler and scavenge for scraps off the back or get into the bin or get hand fed by people? It's a much easier lifestyle to exploit a tourist than it is to exploit a fishing boat. The herring gull has proven itself to be able to tolerate human disturbance. It's probably why it's going to be one of the great survivors into the future as more and more habitat is lost to the ever-expanding human population.